Oh yeah, I'm uh, I'm Shaggy. I uh, race for the Track 69er Collective and Alp Kit, and I'm uh, preparing to go out and do the Iditarod Invitational over in Alaska. And uh, Jim from Alp Kit's up here with me in the uh, this lovely secret body spot in the the Cairngorms, and uh, he's been developing uh, a new lighting system for me to to use out in Alaska, and um, we've just been testing it tonight and. Uh, Jim's going to um, show how they've adapted their, their normal gamma head torch um, to be uh, especially suitable for use in Alaska. Cool, I'll run, run through it quickly with you. Uh, so this is our gamma, we're calling it the uh, gamma spec system, so this, that stands for Spatial Perception Enhancement Clarity System. And uh, it's, it's a standard gamma, it's got the usual features, the LED on the back, the standard 1 watt LED, but this one's got a new feature. So once you flick through the, uh, the standard settings, you can then get the twin uh, green and red light system. Uh, so you simply fix that. It's difficult the one this one. We need we need to adapt it really, but you have to make sure it's absolutely dead centre in your, in, in your head. And then uh, the specs bits comes in. So we develop these these. Uh, these goggles that work with the torch, and uh, so Shaggy's been using them tonight. So you, you basically wear them with with the uh, with the torch, and you really start to bring in the depth of field, and it, objects really appear uh, 3D when you're riding along the trail. It's really easy to see the uh, different contours, the different ter ranges in, in terrain. Um, one thing we're hoping to do up in the Cairngorms this weekend, uh, but the weather hasn't been too kind for us, is really try it in the snow and ice, because that's uh, that's somewhere that's really hard to to perceive uh, what the train is doing underneath you with just a standard light, you just get so much feedback and glare. It's very hard to see how the, the train is undulating, but with the new gamma spec system, we're really hoping that that's going to address that and, uh, and make everyone a little bit safer in the hills.